Yesterday I got caught up in about 10 miles of really dusty road construction, so I want to take a look at my air filter and make sure it's not all caked up. There's a little lever here that'll help us get that seat off. Push that up, wiggle that seat around, and then the seat should lift right out of there. Now we're going to take off this little gas tank rubber piece, and it's just got a little pin that uh, pops in on both sides and then a little slot that just kind of rides down on this uh, little cowling right here that exposes the pivot pin on the back of the gas tank now next we're going to have to remove these cow pockets and the little lids will just pop up and then they're just kind of clip on clip on hinges in the back now there'll be two little screws on each side of the cow pocket and then one little hex head bolt that will hold it all on right here. And if you have a uh, magnetic Phillips screwdriver, it can really help get down in there and kind of lift these screws up out of that hole a little bit better. Now we'll take out this little hex bolt. And it is a, uh, I believe, a number 5 millimeter or at least a number 5 on my little bit set anyway. Now the last bolt on this cow pocket is down here by the uh, I guess the head bolt on the uh, steering column. There's uh, one for each cow pocket down in here and they are eight millimeter. Right in this area is a little piece of velcro that's holding it on and right here in this area there's a little pin that's uh, welded onto the gas tank and there's a little sleeve that will slide over that pin so you got to kind of slide it out and away from that little pin. Just wiggle it and sh shake it a little bit until you get it to come loose. But hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Let's see. Uh, maybe right here you can see there's a little sleeve that kind of comes around and hooks underneath this. Uh, I don't know. It's just kind of a little pin that sticks out there. And well, let me get this loose. And, See if we can turn the handlebars and get it out of there, yeah. Now we'll take off the left side cow pocket, and of course it's a locking pocket. We'll have to go ahead and take it loose. Next we're going to remove this center cow lid by taking this screw loose right here. And there'll be a few little clips. There's a little pin peg right back up in here that's got to pop out and then there's some little clippies that go down in some grooves right here that have to be shaken loose and another one up here at the top that's a significant one that's got to come loose and then that cow will just slide right out of there okay now we've gotten both the cow pockets out now there are two more bolts that are not mentioned in the manual but they are holding the gas tank on right here this one and then there's another one just like it on the other side all right now I'm going to take out this last bolt over here on the right hand side that's the last bolt that's holding the front part of the gas tank on now I'm going to loosen this pivot bolt on the back of the tank and now your ground is right here so you might want to use a socket to hold this uh, or I'm going to just put my hand under it and then hold that bolt there and so it doesn't turn and then get in here and loosen up this little pivot pin bolt. Now the tank should lift mm -hmm. up and just rotate back on that pivot pin the little side pieces might have to be just kind of pushed out just a little bit but it should just come right up and then it will reveal the housing for the uh, air filter here. Now to get to the uh, air filter it's just a matter of working our way around getting at each one of these uh, screws of which there are eight. Now I'm going to put a little towel down just to make sure when that screw comes out in case it falls down or something that uh, this towel will catch it instead of it falling down in the motor area there. Now there's one more screw that's in this little kind of a little well here. Doesn't come out all right. Okay, that is the ninth screw that's hold that 
this little air breather cover on here. Now we can take it off and get a look at the air filter. And also here is a uh, temperature gauge. This is the uh, air intake temperature gauge. Now my air filter doesn't really look too bad that I can tell. I was expecting to see a little bit of dirt caked up on it, but uh, I'm not really seeing that. I went down some dusty roads thinking I was getting it clogged up, but it, uh, it really looks pretty good. I think that's going to be okay there. All right, well, I guess we'll go ahead and put it back together, and I'll change that filter another time.